Yeah, really excited about our recruiting class we were able to sign today. Uh, want to give a lot of credit to our assistant coaches, James Kane, Shane Nichols, and Tim Kane. Thought they've done an outstanding job on the road recruiting. Uh, we knew we needed to identify uh, some talented guards to come in here in this 2017 class. Feel we've been able to do so uh, with Tevin Brown and Ja Morant coming to us from high school, and then Shaq Buchanan uh, via the junior college route. Two of those guys, uh, what you hope to be four-year guys. What's okay. what's the benefit of having those as opposed to cycling in JUCO guys all the time? Well, I think uh, two players like Tevin and Ja both are highly, highly skilled. Uh, both have great basketball IQs. Uh, they'll get stronger once they get here, uh, but their ability to put the ball in the basket, shoot the ball with great range, uh, and create for others, I think is going to be very beneficial for us. And obviously, the opportunity to have them here uh, for four four years is huge. Uh, with Shaq's situation, uh, we needed to add some toughness, uh, some defensive ability on the perimeter, uh, also some experience. And uh, Shaq is an, an elite level athlete, and then we'll be able to come in and help us right away on that wing. You look at a lot of uh, news releases, and you'll see guys with 12 points a game, 14, might not be the go to guy on that <laughs> team. But all these guys, I believe, are averaging like 20 plus. Is, is that what they're? Does that, does that excite you? I mean, do they bring a lot of offense early? Well, as I mentioned, I think the skill level is an area you can get better once you get here, but the ability to shoot the basketball the way Tevin and Ja can. Uh, ja averaged around 27 points a game last year as a junior. Tevin was around 24. Uh, and, and I think that ability to put the ball in the basket is something really important, uh, especially at that one and two position. Uh, you have to be able to shoot the three. Uh, at this level, and both are, are very, very capable from there. Uh, I think Shaq, uh, he's the thing that really f excited us about him is he's a winner. Uh, as he led his high school team to the state championship game in 6A uh, as a senior in Mississippi. Uh, then last year at Northeast Mississippi Junior College, uh, he led his team to the national tournament, averaging around 14 points, six rebounds a game uh, as a true freshman. So, uh, really excited about all three. I think they'll be able to all come in and make a big impact on our program. What, what's something that you know, high school players had to do to make the, make the uh, switch to uh, a Division I level? Well, I think the biggest difference is just the overall speed of the game uh, and the strength of the players once they get here. Uh, I think it's the case with every school in America. The majority of the players on our roster have always been the best player on their team growing up. All, all the way through. And now you get to college, uh, you're surrounded by 12 other guys who are the best player on their team their whole life. And now you got to uh, blend it in and become part of a, a team. Uh, but these guys, uh, they'll be ready to make the jump. Uh, I think the rules have really changed to benefit uh, high school seniors with the fact that we can bring them in in June. Uh, and they get to spend eight weeks here in the summer uh, with Coach Land and the strength and conditioning program. They also now get a couple hours a week on the floor uh, with our coaches and the player development program. And I think that really will help them make that transition quicker. Hey Coach, uh, you love recruiting in the South. Uh, you know, I put that map out every year, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's right in there. You guys just have a real good connection going on there with the high schools and the JUCOs in the South, don't you? Well, I think if you, if you look at uh, historically at Murray State, uh, and you look at the talent pool, you are, you're always going to see uh, Florida, uh, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, the western part of Tennessee uh, just have all been uh, very strong areas for the Murray State program over the years. And we want to continue to highlight those areas and, and really try and get the next elite player and get them here to Murray State. Uh, Coach, uh, you already kind of talked about Shaq's uh, situation there. You know, went to the JUCO National Tournament. Uh, ja and uh, Tevin, they come from very good programs too. Maybe talk about what you might see them be able to do in their senior seasons in high school. Well, I think Ja's one you'll see. They'll be uh, picked one of the top teams in South Carolina. Uh, he was uh, first team All-State last year as a junior. Uh, his numbers were off the charts, uh, almost a triple-double, had games. Uh, 47, 38, 36, 35, really put up great numbers last season. And I know he's put in a lot of work this offseason uh, to be prepared to lead his team to a great senior year campaign. I think with Tevin, uh, was one of the three finalists for 7A Mr. Basketball last year in Alabama. Uh, had a very productive junior year. 
and uh, I know he has aspirations as well of, of leading his team there at Fairhope to a state championship. So uh, that's the beauty of signing the guys in the early period. Uh, now you get to sit back and watch them uh, go out and have special senior years. Uh, hopefully in both of their cases, they can just relax, don't have to worry about the recruiting process, can go out and just enjoy playing basketball their senior season and, and lead their team to great seasons. You know, maybe besides Christmas Day and, and your anniversary and your kids' birthdays, <laughs> this is a big day. Well, it's a, it's a huge day. It's uh, recruiting so vital to the success of your program. Uh, today we uh, acquire, you know, by signing these three young men, that makes up almost uh, a fourth a quarter of our roster uh, for the next few years. So uh, we're, we're thrilled to add. Uh, these three talented guys, and, and most importantly, uh, besides the basketball, all three uh, great competitors. Uh, one thing I really look for in recruiting, I want guys who love the game, uh, who want to become the best player they're capable of being, uh, obviously who want to win. And, and I think that's what we have to sell here at Murray State, and, and we're thrilled these three young men are going to be a part of it. Coach, my last question, Murray State sells itself, but does your style of basketball or the brand that you want to play, does that sell itself too to, to young kids watching? All, all their mixtapes look the same almost now. Sure. No, I think uh, what really started with Coach Prome uh, almost six years ago now is, is this up-tempo style here at Murray State. Uh, it's a, a very point guard friendly system as, as we've seen with, with the development of the guards here uh, in recent years. I think the national attention, the national brand uh, that's taken place uh, with Cameron Payne and Isaiah Cannon, both uh, going to the NBA and having great success, uh, has been a huge selling point for us. And then once you get players here to campus, once you get a recruit here to campus, they see how much the program means to the community, how much pride uh, the people of Murray and, and the Racer Nation take uh, in the championship tradition here at Murray State. Uh, it's a really easy sell uh, from a basketball standpoint. Coach, when you go out and you're recruiting and you're recruiting a whole bunch of studs, how do you expect them to come in and mesh with your already full roster? Well, I think it's important that you identify the character of the student athlete you're recruiting. Uh, you identify, you know, are they about themselves? Or are they about winning? Uh, are they going to be someone who's going to put the team above self? And I, I know we've been able to do that with these three guys. They all come from winning programs. They're used to it. Uh, they come from uh, well-coached programs where there's year-long uh, player development and strength and conditioning programs in place. Uh, so they'll be well-positioned to come in here and help us early in their careers. Coach, what's the, what's the latest on G? Uh, G still day-to-day, -day, uh, ankle sprain. Uh, that's, that's really all there is to it. Has you he know, practiced any? Has not practiced yet. Uh, he's been, been in treatment around the clock. Uh, we'll see how he is uh, when he gets back in this afternoon before practice. you have a gut feeling about Friday? I don't. Uh, and I really, my, my whole deal with it is uh, we want to get him back 100%. If he's not close, we're not going to throw him out there. I have no uh, intentions of this becoming a lingering issue that we're going to have to deal with all season because we throw him out here at 50% and he's not healed up. So uh, we're going to just see how he progresses on a day-to-day -day basis. And if he's ready to go, uh, we'll play him Friday night. If not, uh, we'll get him back as soon as possible.